Hello everyone, welcome to our computer architecture tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to discuss kernel of math. So I have recorded one video but I found out that there was no uh, sound so that's why I am re-recording again. So I am not deleting all what I have written. So let's consider this function, I mean this inputs. So you are given the task to derive the function from the truth table. What you do is to uh, consider inputs, okay? So you're giving this uh, table, I mean, I'm redraw, I'm restructured the way I've written the truth table, okay? So now you consider the inputs. So what's a K map? A K map is considering the biggest size rectangle inside this table. So you can only consider the rectangle with size of 2n. That means you can consider the rectangle size 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, etc. And uh, please note that you only consider inputs in adjacent nodes or cells. That means that you can only consider, uh, I mean, the inputs in this here and here because they're adjacent. What does it mean adjacent? One bit difference, okay, between the cells. I mean, there's uh, 0, 1 and next is I mean, 0, 1. And then one zero, so they adjust because actually there's no difference. I mean, if there's no difference and if there's one bit difference, so then they adjust in the key. So what the, what does it mean? You cannot consider, for example, uh, let's consider that there is one. Okay, you cannot consider. Okay, let me draw it here. You cannot consider this one and then this one because they are not adjacent. Okay, they are not adjacent. I mean, here, the, the, there's 0, 1 and 1, 1. There's one bit difference. So that's why they're adjacent, okay? I mean, this for 2. But in this case, 1, 0 and one, 0, 1 and 1, 0 are not adjacent. So that's why you cannot consider these two cells. So you can you consider these two, and then you find the common behavior of inputs for this particular frame. The common behavior of B is 1 because B is 1 for this two inputs and uh, C's value is also zero for these two inputs so that's why we write the functional representation of this rectangle as B and C bar and next you can consider this two cells you cannot consider three because you can only consider the rectangle size 2n and you cannot consider as I've told you the rectangles inside the rectangle for example there is a two right I mean, two cells, you can consider this and this separately because you have to start. You have to start choosing rectangles from the max size. So you move from the A to 4 to 2 to 1, okay? So now we're choosing rectangles of size 2. In the next uh, examples, you will find it more clearly. The common behavior for this uh, cells is A is 1 for these two cells, B is 0, so A bar. A and B bar and C's value is zero. Okay, so now then you may be asked to draw this um, logic gates, but let's move to the next example. Here, let's consider this existing table. So as I've told you that the size should be the max size because this is a rule. For example, if there is four size rectangle, we cannot consider it each input separately one by one or just divided the half and consider two separate two separate none and it's not allowed okay so please firstly identify the max rectangle so in this case the max i mean the max rectangle is going to be this four right and you're not allowed to consider this two separately this two separately this one separately because they are the part of uh let's say uh one big rectangle okay so what i'm going to do right now is to write the common behavior for this rectangle so the common behavior for this rectangle is going to be a is zero and b is zero for each these inputs okay so i'm going to write f equals to a bar and b bar but you cannot find the common behavior common inputs of c and d for this rectangle because there's zero zero one one. I mean, for this row is zero. For this row, C's value is zero. But D is one. 
or this c is value is d uh, one d is value is one i mean it changes so that's why we not consider c and d we are done now let's move to <clears throat> next rectangle and this is going to be this Okay, you move for, I mean, we, we identify the sizes for now. Now we consider all the rectangles with a size 4, okay? So, this is a rectangle. You cannot consider, just don't consider this two separately or this two separately because they are part of one big rectangle, okay? So, what's the common behavior of this inputs A, B, C, D for this rectangle? It's going to be what? A is 1, right? A is 1. So, I'm going to write A. And C, B is really is 1 and 0, they're not common, but D is really is 1 for this row and for this row. C is really is different. So that's why I'm going to write D. So the functional representation of this two table is going to be A bar, B bar plus A and D. So as, I've, as you have uh, possibly understood, you find the functional representation of the rectangle. For this rectangle, it's going to be this one for this rectangle it's going to be this one and between this functional representation you put plus and all of this i mean for some of all functional representation for of the rectangle in this frame are going to be the function of the entire truth table okay so now let's consider this uh, rectangle <laughs> not rectangle but this true stable so as you can see that it's pretty different as i've told you you have to start i mean the size you have to start from the max so the max size here is going to be eight right i mean this eight cells so that means we're starting from the eight then we have to move to the size of four to the two and to the one so we consider eight let's say we cannot as i i've I'm again, I uh, repeat it, you cannot, or you're not allowed to consider this four separately. Next, when we consider four and this four separately, okay? You're not allowed to do that. So let's find the common behavior of A, B, C, D. This is a four input K map for this rectangle, but firstly, let me write the values 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 1, 1. And one zero, zero zero, zero, and uh, yeah, I'm drawing correctly, right? Yeah, one one and one zero. So the common behavior, what? <laughs> I mean, A is really for this row is one. I mean zero for this row is zero, but for this row it's one. So we don't consider A, and B is really is also. I mean for this column is zero for this column is one so there's no common behavior of from a and b for this rectangle but when it comes to c for this um row i mean for values of this row it's always one and for this row also it's one so that's why functional representation of uh this rectangle in this so say is going to be just c okay because there's only i mean c exists with a common behavior, with a common input for this rectangle. So let's move, let's move and let's consider, I mean, the rectangle with a size four. We're not allowed to consider this rectangle, again, I repeat. And um, what do we do is to see that there is two inputs and also we take this. Why? Because this, cells are in adjacent nodes i mean one one and one zero are adjacent so that means we can select them and form one big four size rectangle as you see that i'm drawing like this okay i'm not drawing just separately i'm drawing like this i'm just uh, showing or imagining let's say that there are one big rectangle with a size four and this is because one one and one zero are adjacent so for example for example uh, you have this zero zero uh, one zero one one and one zero if you have here one 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 and here also one 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 you're not allowed or you shouldn't just consider this this four and four separately why because as you can see zero zero 
and zero one. I mean, let me draw also this right to show you carefully. Yeah, because zero zero, this cell and this cell are adjacent. There's only one bit difference, one bit. Okay, so that's why you have to consider this and this as a one big eight size rectangle. Okay, so I hope that. When you solve yourself, when you meet this kind of scenarios, when you have to select the rectangle with a size, uh, for example, n, and you only have the rectangle with size n over 2, I mean, in this case, we want to select the rectangle with size 4, but we have only 2 cells, you have to take 2 cells from existing, from existing this big existing rectangle, in this case, uh, but you have to make sure that Inputs again are adjacent, not inputs, but the nodes. Let's see. Ah, uh, make sure that the nodes or cells from the adjacent adjacent nodes. I mean, let's say this is one one and one zero are nodes. Okay. So let's move on. We consider it. No, not. We haven't written functional representation. Now let's first write functional representation. For this rectangle, the A has the common value, which is 1, right? Here 1, here 1. So I'm writing A. And the B has 1 and 0, so it's not common. But C has 1 for this row one i mean zero one for this row this it's not common but d has zero zero for each of these four inputs in the rectangle so that's why i write d bar okay so uh, firstly let me delete this okay d bar so consider it the rectangle size four now let's consider the rectangle size two again again i repeat there is only what one and one there are two one size cells available but we have to take two cells what do we do is to take one again i repeat one additional cell from existing rectangle but be sure that it's from the adjacent node so for example i can select this i mean this one to form two size rectangle or I can select this one to form two size rectangle. Okay, they are from just nodes. I mean, from they are from the same node, so there is no problem. I've taken from the existing rectangle, no problem. But overall, I have two size rectangle, and that's okay. But please note that you have to select only one rectangle. So I'm, I'm, actually, yeah, you have to select only uh, one two size uh, rectangle. So. I'm taking either this one or either this one. So let me take, uh, yeah, let me take this one. Okay. So what's going to be, I, I think that, or I hope you have understood everything, but if you have questions, just please ask. So again, let's continue. The common behavior of A is going to be just A because it has the same input one one for these two inputs and b's value is zero so that's why i'm writing b bar because for this input for this input also of cell b's value is zero and as you can see that c's value is zero for this row one for this row so we don't consider c but b's value b's value is one for both cells so that's why i'm right D. Okay, and finally we have to consider the rectangle size one, and there's only this one, and there is nothing, nothing to compare. I mean, there's no way to compare the values A, B, C, D because there's no uh, additional cell to compare. There's only one cell, so we do write all the values uh, of these four inputs for this particular cell. So what's going to be is, yeah. For A, A's value for this one is 0, B is 1, so A bar B 
B's will, I mean, C's will is zero, G's will is one, so C bar D. Okay, I hope it's it is pretty understandable for you right now. How to construct K map? You're given the truth table. You see the uh, rectangles. You find out the max size, and you go from the top, from the max size to the bottom. And please, um, make sure that the size of the rectangle have to be two. And you cannot uh choose the rectangle size three, five, seven. Okay, it should be divided by two, and you have you can also select this one. And uh, yeah, uh, and be sure that you cannot select the rectangle inside already selected rectangle. Uh, only if I mean, what I mean, this is, I mean we're selecting this one, but this is not I mean the entire rectangle. Okay, this is a part of the new rectangle. So in this case, there's no problem. But you cannot select this four. Okay, because that this rectangle exists already in one already chosen rectangle. Okay. I hope it was pretty understandable for you and see you soon in our next tutorials.